Hey everyone, welcome back again to the New England Wireless and Steam Museum. Today, it's the perfect type of day to give you some idea of what my very first impression here was the first time I came. So, back in 2009, I had been driving by this place for years. A sign out by the street that says, uh, New England Wireless and Steam Museum, open by appointment only. I was always intrigued, wondering quite what the story was. Well, one day I happened to drive by on a day when the gate was open and needed to find out what was going on. There was almost nobody around, came here, saw the area almost deserted, and came walking through to try to find out quite what this place was all about. So as I came walking up this area, you see the uh, fire pump engine here, portable power source that's sitting outside. Uh, you know, don't didn't know much about it because I had never actually seen a, uh, a steam engine before in my life. So despite growing up around all sorts of mechanical things, really had no idea what I was in store for. So again, came here, um, and that's actually the, the perfect viewer for today, is somebody who's who doesn't really know what to expect, uh, because there is some shock factor here. Um, if we see up uh, top over here, we do have some, uh, some steam coming out, something going on up there. Wasn't too sure quite what that was all about myself. And uh, so this is exactly what I did. Came walking around the back of the building here, steam building. Pardon the, uh, the dumpster and things for today, actually trying to clean some things up. But came around here, there was a, you know, maybe a few people hanging out around the lookout boiler here, um, tending to the, to the steam, tending to the fire. Um, and came around the corner and was greeted by this. The Fitchburg engine. Now again, I know virtually nothing about this, or knew virtually nothing about this. But this was all new to me, and I am astounded by how quiet it runs, to see the simplicity of the motion, and uh, just the, the grace with which it was moving. I'm blown away, despite knowing so little, I'm blown away by uh, you know, the sheer quantity of metal that's in motion and the, the silence of it all. Sounds like we need to uh, tighten up the bearing there a little bit. And I think we will get into this engine a bit more, maybe showing everyone um, a few more of the details in a future video. But as an introduction to a steam engine, if, no, if somebody has never seen one before, this was my very first experience. To be quite honest, at the at the outset, I had absolutely no idea quite what each one of these components did. We can point all that stuff out to you at a future point in time. For anybody who does know a bit about steam engines, I can tell you this is a piston valve engine with separate admission and exhaust uh, valve eccentrics, made in nearby Fitchburg, Massachusetts. A very smooth, docile running engine. But there you have it. My own per per personal first experience. And I have to say, after all this time, we still have a certain awe, a certain wonder at the simplicity of everything, quiet nature, and the beautiful mechanism that is a reciprocating steam engine. Thanks for joining me again. Hope you like and share these videos as we move closer to our steam up this year, hoping to get viewers from around the world 
you know, who wouldn't otherwise be able to see our collection, now being able to put them on YouTube and uh, see them for the first time. I hope people enjoy them and appreciate what we have. So, more to come. Thanks for joining me again here at the New England Wireless and Steam Museum.